The invisible horizontal seam joins two pieces of knitting that have been bound off and it creates, as the name says, an invisible seam, but it is also a very sturdy seam, which makes it a good choice for shoulder seams. We are going to take and concern ourselves with the stitches on the upper piece that are right above the bind off edge and on the lower piece with the stitches that are directly below the bind off edge. Look over here to the side and I have marked the first few stitches so you can see how we will be joining these stitches. All of the stitches above the bind off edge on this upper piece look like a V. So each V makes a point. We are going to be joining the points of the upper piece to points on the lower piece. On the lower piece, these V's are upside down. So we have one here with its point, two, and here is the third one with its point here. So the first thing that we're going to do before we start joining these is we um, are going to thread some yarn onto a blunt tip tapestry needle. If you have left a yarn tail, that's very handy because then it's one less end that you need to weave in. If you don't have a tail handy, just go ahead and join a new piece of yarn that you can weave in later. So I come and I take my yarn and I bring it into the lower piece here, just grabbing that first half stitch there. And that just secures the top to the bottom. And I'm going to come back to the upper piece and I'm going to go under both legs of that first V where that point is. So I'll go under both of those and then draw my yarn through. Now I'm going to come back to the lower piece and it's always a little tougher to see down here but here is the first V that is upside down or the first stitch here and you can see there's its point so I will then go under both legs of that inverted V like so and then draw my yarn through. Now you can tighten up as you go you want to make it tight enough that the bound off edges get hidden but you can also do a few stitches and then tighten up. So now I'm going to come back to the top and go under the two legs of the next V Here's the point, and draw your yarn through again, back to the bottom, here's the next upside down V, or the point here, go under both of those legs, now that I've completed one full, you can see how I'm creating this stitch here that will look like all of the other stitches above it. So come back up to the top, go under the next V, both legs, which makes that point right here. Go under that. And I'll come to the bottom. Here's my last marked one, upside down or inverted V. There's its point. And put go under those two draw your yarn through. And let's do a couple where I don't have the stitches marked so that you can see that. So here is my next V. Go under both legs of that. And below, here's the next V. Go under both legs of that. And you can see that we are creating a very nice and seamless invisible join. Now sometimes when we're doing this, we can run into some special circumstances where maybe one side has more stitches than the other. So I'll show you how to handle that. There we go. So let's say that this top piece had more stitches than the lower piece. So you may need to ease in that fullness by instead of taking two legs or the entire V here, maybe you might need to do one and a half stitches and do that every once in a while just to sort of ease in that fullness. And that small interruption 
in the pattern won't really make that much of a difference. You won't really be able to detect it, especially when the patterns on the top and the bottom may be different. And this happens if you have cables here or ribs, something to that effect. So there you have it, the invisible horizontal seam. Happy knitting!